is a 2012 Chrysler 300 C SRT8. I'll quickly show you. The motor is running right now. The uh, obviously there's front end damage here. I don't want to leave the motor running for very long. And you can see that uh, runs just fine. I'll go ahead and shut it off really quick. Um, reason why I was in such a hurry to shut it off is because here you can see the serpentine belt got knocked off the motor when all the cooling here got pushed back into it. So the alternator is not charging. Of course, the water pump's not cooling and whatnot. And so uh, that's the reason why I didn't want to shut or let it run very long. Um, but as you can see, it's very light damage. Uh, you need a upper radiator support tie bar, which as you can see here, it's a bolt in. So it'll bolt down here too. Um, and then of course it'll bolt over there. So it's uh, it's all bolt together, very nice and easy. The cooling, you know, I can't tell. The radiator does look straight up here, but odds are it's probably shot. Uh, the radiator, obviously the condenser shot. I'm assuming this here is your power steering cooler, uh, maybe a transmission cooler uh, that's bent as well. Uh, the main frame structure right in here in your front impact bar, as you can see I stand back. That looks perfectly good yet. Obviously you're going to need a headlight, this fender, and the hood, um, and the front bumper cover. Otherwise that's about it that I can see structurally. Uh, this headlight here looks to be intact. Of course, your front bumper cover, I think all you're going to need is just the cover itself and then the grill. Uh, the lower grill here is fine. Of course, the fog lights on either end are there. All the little sensors along the uh, front bumper cover right here are all in there. This fender here looks perfectly fine. The tires there, they look really good yet. Uh, the gap in here on the door looks to be fine. As for the rear tires, and obviously being an SRT8, you kind of would want to know the rear tires. You can see that they look uh, pretty much brand spanking new there. Coming inside the vehicle, obviously here we've got all your power windows, locks and mirrors, memory seats. Uh, of course we got your power seats down there. And we'll go ahead and turn an accessory mode on here. <coughs> do new, you do need the uh, driver wheel airbag that has deployed as well as the knee airbag down here below. Um, I've seen these are on eBay for about $300. I believe the knee airbag brand new is $200 if memory serves me correctly. And I the, will need the dash airbag and I believe the dash airbag is also two, three hundred bucks brand new. Uh, I know these brand new from a dealer are right around six, seven, eight hundred dollars but buy that on eBay. That's uh, it's about three hundred bucks there. Uh, we'll go ahead, let's see here. Not sure quite why the radio's not turning on here. It was on, oh, here we go. Just celebrate the 
this holiest of holidays, we're gonna need Kickstart by Mountain Dew. Two new flavors. Obviously, your radio works just fine. You got a CD player. Uh, looks like these here are your heated seat controls. Um, let me turn this fan off there. These are your heated seat controls. Uh, your climate. This here is your navigation phone, which be your Bluetooth and whatnot. Um, and then we've got your SRT performance settings. Here's your timers, your G-force, your gauges. Pretty neat little setup here. Here's your engines. Even tells you the horsepower you're developing and the torque. Of course, we're not running right now, but uh, uh, has some pretty, pretty neat options there. Um, we'll go ahead and shut that off for a moment. We do have paddle shifters. And then back here, there are controls on the back of the, the steering column for all your radio controls. Of course, we got obviously carbon fiber interior. Cigarette lighter outlet there. Car does come with two keys. So we do have two keys. It does have remote start. Obviously, your trunk release. And down here, I believe these are your heated seats. And then we do have an owner's manual as well. Everything interior looks really nice, really clean. Uh, currently, you see on the display here, there's 31,429 miles. SRT right here on the seats. These are the, uh, the suede uh, inserts. And down here in the uh, center console, use your auxiliary for hooking up your iPod or another cigarette lighter, whatever you'd like to hook up there. Center console, of course this folds up if you'd like. Now this uh, this car does have watch, blind spot detection sensors here, so that is another option. Of course, heated mirrors. Then up above, up in here, these are your uh, moonroof controls, your home link for your garage door openers, of course your map lights, and then storage for sunglasses. Power mirrors, extensions. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to email us.